Hold up. Aloha guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with my wish list for 2022. To be honest, I have actually been dreading this video. I didn't think I was actually gonna make one this year because uh, I don't know. I feel very indifferent with wish lists nowadays. But I mean, honestly, I haven't even really been looking at any of the websites. I haven't been checking out any types of brands. So I don't know really what I initially am looking for. I in this wish list, I just put things that I thought was very cool that if I can add to my my collection, fantastic. If I can't, whatever. Um, but let's get started. Again, my name is Rochelle. If you guys have not been to this channel before, you guys know I love luxury, beauty, fashiony, hype bay things. So if that is up your alley, why not considering subscribing? Help your girl out. But let's get started. So I'm going to be looking at my handy dandy phone here maybe playing with my eyelash a little bit because your girl needs to get a refill and wearing strip lashes today actually stupid fact this is actually glued on and that one is magnetic so this is the one that i'm messing with the most because i am ready to pull these off at any time anyways let's get started so for the first item um i always lusted over a low weave piece and of course it's going to be a puzzle piece but i do love the puzzle bags I just don't think this actual style works for me, but this Loewe belt bag is just my favorite. Do I need another belt bag? Absolutely not. But do I love it in this beautiful caramel color and the hot pink and the neon color that I saw? Absolutely. Love to add this to my collection. It's been a while since I shopped at Christian Dior and this style bag that they had released, um, which is called the Vibe Bag. I really vibe with this bag. I see the pictures and I love it because why? It does look like a belt bag style. And you all know on this channel, we love belt bag styles. So that's why I really love this vibe bag, um, especially in this white color. I, I have one white bag and that's really all I need. But this with the gold trimming is just chef's kiss. You guys know me, I love sunglasses. Um, again, I haven't really stepped foot into a Dior in a very long time, but these wild Dior Boo in this beautiful dark navy blue color is just absolutely beautiful. I love how the side of the frames looks like a book tote. You guys know I had my moment in the sun with the book tote. So I do love it because the frames also look monochromatic with the pair of the color with the color on the outside of the frame. So I do love that as well. Price isn't too terrible. I think I think uh, did I even screenshot the price? I did not. Oh, it's like 380. So I guess it's not terrible. Um, but you know me and my glasses. Does your girl need another saddle Dior belt bag? No, but this freaking Dior and Sakai saddle bag is fantastic it has it's ivory cream with some stark white touches on it which again chef's kiss um i do love sakai as well as a streetwear brand so of course i gravitate towards this um i definitely don't need three in my collection i think the ones that i do have are great but this would be something beautiful that would be in my collection if i was to add it Ooh, and the Sakai Dior saddle belt bag does come in a mini size. I would love to see this one in person. So the first one that I showed you was the regular size. Um, and then there's a mini. I don't know what the mini looks like, but she's pretty. Still riding that Dior train. I do love these B30 sneakers. Um, I actually seen them in person and I think they are fantastic. They look super comfortable. The only Dior shoe that I really wear consistently are my B25s in the lows. I really wish that I went with lows with all the pairs that I have because I have three in total and the black with the white gray and the all white are highs. And I, I, I'm just a low girl. I, 
I guess it took me this long to kind of realize. But I do love these B30 sneakers. They just look comfortable. They feel comfortable. And they're definitely a style that I do like. It's very dad, shoeish, but better. Y'all know how I feel about loafers. This white, what kills me is those icy clear soles. I just think they're so beautiful. This is one that I think I would love to add for sure, 100%. Anything with this beautiful icy sole. Whether it be Christian Dior, whether it be some other brand, I do want one with this sole for sure. Okay, so the Prada Crystal Bag, I love. I see a lot of my YouTube friends who have them and they look fantastic. Love it, love it. I tried even the pink one um, in store just to see how much I would really love it. And eventually in life, if I do have the opportunity to add the Prada Crystal Bag, I would love to. However, please kick me in the face because I have a moment with the hourglass bag so thank you to miss lisa who had hooked me up with the dior not dior sorry with the balenciaga gucci hacker collection i was able to get the small hourglass bag from her and now i'm super obsessed uh again please slap me in the face because this one with the crystals on it is stunning Price point, not so much because I think they just had a price increase. I swear when I first saw this bag on the website, it was a little over a 5,000. Now it is sitting at a pretty 6,000. So I don't want to spend that on a Balenciaga bag. Um, definitely the Prada price point is looking so much better in comparison. It is under 2,000, but this bag is just absolutely stunning. It comes with this clear, clear crystal. I think it also comes in a pink crystal and an all black crystal, but yo, I love it. I never considered myself a Von Cleef girl. Um, I do love the little motifs. I am not all about all you know the necklaces and everything i just want one piece or or two maybe i want the stud earrings maybe i want the single motif bracelet because i wanna i have a lot of chunky jewelry already and for fine jewelry the funny thing is i don't really like it that big for fine jewelry so i would love this bracelet here the sweet alhambra i think is such a beautiful little dainty size i would love to see it in this rose gold white no i'm probably not gonna do white gold rose gold or gold um i think it is just absolutely beautiful i don't know too much about van cleef here in hawaii um might check up on it just because that would be something i would love to add um that or the just include the thinner bracelet because again i'd rather go chunky with my fashion jewelry but um love those two uh these coco crush earrings i only like them because i think these are the ones that you can transform into the ear cuff. Um, I do have a video coming up on my fashion jewelry collection and I talk about how I am over buying Chanel or any type of fashion jewelry really. Um, it really has to say something for me to want to buy it. I'd rather use that money now towards fine jewelry. However, these Coco Crush earrings are just so pretty. I've always kind of wanted a ring as well, but I think I kind of overdo it in the ring spectrum of fine jewelry. So these Coco Crush earrings are beautiful. I do love the Tiffany Hardware collection. Um, I think it's absolutely stunning. I first initially seen it on Blackpink Rosé. And I do love these hardware link earrings. I think they're absolutely beautiful. These ones here are in the sterling silver. I am a silver girl. I love silver palladium coloring. However, I don't like it when they tarnish. So that's the one turn off for me. Um, but I do love them. And I do love this pearl bracelet from the hardware collection as well. And I think the price is actually pretty good for what it is because it is pearls um, and silver. So I do like those. Speaking of loafers, I know I said I want one with like the clear sole, but these meshy looking ones from Chanel are just amazing. Um, mesh doesn't really stretch all that much, so I kind of wonder how that would be. But I have, every time I pass by my local boutique, I don't see it. Maybe it might be something you have to ask for, but these are absolutely stunning. I have a, f a couple of loafers already and I just love, just love them. 
Jacquemus launched this kind of east to west style bag uh, maybe a few months ago and I've never seen them in person. I don't even know where to get Jacquemus um, to actually see them in person in Hawaii um, besides on people. But I recently seen somebody with it and it was so cute. What I didn't like was a box skin calf leather. So she had tons of scratches on it. Um, however, I do love this bigger size. This is definitely more right up my alley the other styles like the Le Chiquito or Chiquita whatever those are called ah very cute as well it's just I would never pay full price for a Jacquemus bag so if I was to purchase one it would be this one so the new Louis Vuitton wavy collection um I don't know when pre-orders or anything start for that but I would love to have like the duffel looking style bag um and the pocket organizer or the soft trunk i just think they're so unique yes it looks like somebody who it, it looks like it's for somebody who already sees unclear but i do love it it's quirky it's interesting and i just i, I just think it's absolutely neat Something not designer, but I really would like is the, and you guys know on this channel, I do love the new botanical collection from Lego. So they just announced this orchid style recently and some succulent version. So I really want them. I know they're sold out right now. So that's on my wish list because I think that's high on my wish list because they're so cute and they're so neat and I love to build these. Porter is one of my favorite brands, as you guys know, as people who watch my channel. Uh, they are coming out with a Doremon collection and this is probably their second or third Doremon collaboration. You guys know um, I had purchased like Gucci Doremon things. I'll link the video up above. But I do love this. I think it's absolutely cute. Um, and you know, I love nylon too. So I love the shirt. I love the little keychain. I just want something from this collection. And hopefully I can get something and it's not extortionate in price. <laughs> Miss Cassie Two Dollar Signs talked about Hermes making ear cuffs. And I know, again, I have a fashion jewelry video coming up very soon. And I know I, in that video, I talked about not buying too many, but this ear cuff, guys, it is so cute. It looks like the click clack and I, I want one to match my click clack. I don't wear them that often, so I'm not surprised if you don't know what I'm talking about. But I do want one to match. I love ear cuffs. I'm obsessed with them, so I want one so bad. I don't talk about Hermes too much on this channel. Why? Because it's, it's not really my vibe. I love them, don't get me wrong, but I never had the feeling that I need them. Um, I just live vicariously through people who have them because that's their style. Um, I'm a little bit more out there, but I cannot stop thinking about this Pico Tin bag in a gold color. Um, I don't know about sizing because really I've never inquired about any of them, but I do love the slouchiness of this bag. I just love it. I don't know what it is. It's it just it's simple but not and I think that's why I like it. And I take it as a sign because one of my um clients had actually purchased one recently and she told me um how much she loved it. She showed me a picture of it and um the vibe that I got from it I actually had stronger feelings about the Pico Tin than I did holding a Birkin 25. Yeah, it just doesn't give me the feelings. I'm not quite there yet, but um I love this Pico Tin. One of my favorite designers, which is Nigo. Uh, you guys hear me talk about him tons on this channel, um, especially as of late. He is now the creative director for Kenzo and he came out with this um, line for Kenzo, which has this flower on it. And wow, the price is like for this jacket, it's pretty high. It's like close to a thousand dollars, but um, hopefully sometime in life, I can get this denim jacket. I just think it's so neat. He has a full line even of like uh t-shirts and jeans um but knowing kenzo that's the type of brand that does go on sale so i would love to get this jacket on sale hopefully or get to at least see it in person to try it on he did have a release with uh levi's recently um he did a trucker with a mallard duck on the back i think the retail price for that was like 850 resells like hitting almost 2000 so um definitely missed out on that 
you know, uh, but if I can get my hands on them when they're not super hyped, probably a good time for me to get it. So I do like this cassette Bottega bucket styled bag. There's two sizes. So this is the smaller size and then there is a one size bigger. I, I'm in between both, but I really do love their parakeet coloring. I think the parakeet is just absolutely beautiful. So I don't know which size I would love to add to my collection, but I do like them. Both of them, they're very cute. One of my favorite models uh, just posted this beautiful Gucci blue Diana bag. This blue is beautiful. It is a navy blue. The strap that comes with it as well is the navy blue with the red stripe. So pretty, so, so, so pretty. I would really like a Nano Fendigraphy. Oh, that's a mouthful. I just think this is so cute, either in the white with the gold or the light blue with the gold as well. I would love to see this one in person because it just looks so pretty. I want to see, I've seen it on the pictures on the models and I think they're absolutely cute, but I would love to see them in person. Okay, so this one here, I really, really like. If I had to rank any of my wish list items, this is probably top three. Easily. It is the Fendi Baguette mini trunk. This is the men's collection and it is a transparent plexiglass trunk style bag that has lilac in it. Okay, so it does come with other colors as well. But of course, you know, I love this lilac color. Plexiglass definitely scares the S-H-I-T out of me because I'm very accident prone. However, gosh, it looks so beautiful. I'm wondering if I can see this in person. Price not so much beautiful, but because of the Hawaii pricing, maybe it will come off a little bit better. But I would love to see this in person. You all know I love structured style bags. I love my trunk style bags, even my Dior Rimoa bag. I love them also. That's why I gravitate heavily to this one. But this or the blue, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. And, um... This light blue nylon umbrella from Fendi as well. Hi, help me, help me. This is so pretty. Uh, I was just recently talking about how my husband's obsessed with Porter umbrellas. Um, I'm obsessed with this Fendi umbrella. Do I need it? Absolutely not. But it's from freaking sky blue to lilac with the I don't give a FFFs everywhere. Like I want it. I want it. And then um, the last item that I have is ending off at a pretty high note. This is another Fendi piece that I would love to see in person. It is the Fendiness mini backpack in this beige color. It comes in a bunch of other colors as well. I was hoping it would come in a lilac because that would be fantastic. Um, but I do love it in this beige. Um, <laughs> the last few Fendi pieces that I had talked about are in the men's collection. And you guys know here on this channel, we love the men's things. They're just, in my opinion, they're just so far more, they're just far more superior. I don't, I don't know, but I do love this. It's a sling style bag. Um, it looks like a nylon piece. Oh, it says beige nylon. So it is a nylon piece. So I would love to see this one in person too. But if I was going to spend, well, it's actually pretty decently priced. It's 1,350. That's online. Hawaii price is probably maybe closer to 1150. Maybe I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Um, but it is really great for what it is, especially because we love nylon, but you Imagine using that fun towards the baguette trunk mini. Wow, like I just keep going back to that picture because it's fantastic. Like out of all of these, I think my top three would be that Fendi um, trunk mini, the Balenciaga crystal hourglass, and the wavy, a wavy bag from the Louis Vuitton. That's probably like my top three right now that I have on my list. Wow. But guys, that is my wish list so far for 2022. Um, let's see how things change when I do an update, maybe sometime during fall winter time. But guys, that is my wish list. Thank you for watching. If there's something that you see that you know that is totally my vibe, let me know. Did I miss something? Should I add it to my wish list? Please let me know in the comment box below. And again, if you haven't subscribed, why not help your girl out by liking this video, ring the bell as well so you get notified whenever I get new videos. And you guys are always Alice.